welcome to the channel. This is Tyra. Today I'm going to, I'm going to show you what crafty things I've do, been doing throughout the last week. I'm going to share a bit of news with you, a bit of chatting and all of these things. And then finally at the end we have a on um, bagging of a cross stitch which I bought from Gregor Rouge of uh, in England which I'm really really looking forward to on back this is a um, full coverage one so I am so excited about this one um, so yeah uh, we had vacation last week today it is Wednesday uh, where I normally try to do my weekly wood block um, last week we went different places and so on so I did a, do a bit of stitching mostly on my travel piece but also on some other things as I told you last week I started my um, my um, sale from uh, the owl forest uh, company on uh, on uh, on the internet you can find the page I'm going to look the uh, link the 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 cell below so you can go and see for yourself what you think about it i am so in love with it i am really enjoying stitching it so uh, i had some had some evenings and so on where i had some room for it but otherwise with um on monday it was my daughter's 13th birthday so now it's we are done we don't have any more small children in the house we only have teenagers God bless me. <laughs> so, so I hope from from now on that uh, I will get some more stitchy time. Um, they are getting older and uh, much more. Yeah, not relying on the mom and dad as much as they used to, uh, which also is nice. But there's still some things where I think, oh, I would really love to have them being small again. But she, uh, uh, we held her birthday on, in the morning and she had wished herself, uh, she wanted an Apple eye pen for her iPad, so we gave her that. And then uh, afterwards she went off to school. I uh, went to work together with my husband and we came home early, had a really nice uh, afternoon, evening, where we... Uh, had some cake and we then went out to our local cafe and had some cafe food burgers and so on and then the evening in the evening we saw pikachu so it was really really a nice day and i think she was really happy with how the day went uh, on sunday the uh, rest of our family is coming and visiting her and uh, we are going to have another birthday form for her so that's uh, probably one of my major things this week um otherwise work um uh, yeah just getting back into the ribbon rhythm after having uh, off work so yeah so it's been really good uh instead of coffee i'm hoping that i can get this done before uh it gets too dark outside because we are really, really now feeling the effect of winter is coming. Um, because um, it gets dark here around half six now. So um, it's early dark, uh, but we still are going to turn the hour one, 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 or the, the time one hour forward soon. So we get into winter time and that gives we, us in the evening a longer um yeah longer light um so so for a brief moment and then it gets dark again so when you wake up it's dark and when you come home from work it's dark but that's just how it is to live in denmark um before i i start anything i just wanted to show you something that i found in our local um thrift show i just couldn't couldn't really let it be. Have you seen this? This is an 
cross stitch piece, a purse. I think it's old. I think it's probably from the 70s or something. I'm really not that good at but it's really complete. I don't think it's ever been used. Um, it's not worn on the inside. I think it's it's sewn by machine, so it's not um, too old. But I really, really loved it. And for two and a half dollars, who would say no to that? Um, have you seen the embroidery on it? It's pretty, isn't it? So I. I don't know if I'm going to use it for anything. I was really thinking about using it as a small project bag for for the smaller um, uh, for for some small projects or or for diamond painting where you could just have a small diamond painting and your drills and so on in it. And they even she even sewn a small. Uh, place where you can put your things into so I think it's brilliant um, I really love it so I think I'm going to keep this one <laughs> brilliant so yeah I found that one um, I think that's all of my fifth door finds that you would be interested in and then another thing that I unbagged that I did off camera was these two these are from AliExpress I can link them below their diamond painting pens the quality of them seems okay. Um, I'm not too thrilled with, I didn't see that on the advertisement, but it's a square form down here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is square. Yeah, you can see it here. I don't know how comfy that is to hold in the long run, but they're cute though. Um, cute colors. Quality is okay. It didn't come cumbra or broken, so perfect. <laughs> and it came in one of those a small envelopes, so it could have done. So yeah, I have to uh, tell that this is, tell the supplier that his uh, pens finally did came. It, it it took, I think it took sixty days for it to come. So yeah, but these were only what a dollar piece. So yeah, they're really, really cute. Um, then I wanted to show you, again, a diamond painting. I'm not diamond painting much at the moment. I'm diamond painting a bit on the big one, but mostly at the moment I'm really working on my cross stitch and my beaded cross stitch. I really enjoy that at the moment. I think I'm going to dig down in my stash somewhere and find a diamond painting for Christmas because I would really like to have one for Christmas. Um, and I think I probably have some somewhere um, for me to... Yeah, I think I have a diamond painting somewhere where I can uh, probably diamond paint a bit on that one. And it should be really Christmassy as far as I remember. So I think I'm going to keep... Uh, working on this until mid-November, the big one, and then roll it back up, put it away and start on the other one. So uh, whether or not I'm going to finish that, I think as far as I remember, it's a pretty big diamond painting. Uh, so I'm not sure that I'm going to finish it before Christmas, but anyway, that's Christmas beer and then I can just roll it up and put it back and then we can do the rest next year. They don't wither away. <laughs> so yeah um so let's start with the cross stitch pieces um uh, i think let's start with this one that you know um my teacups and oh there's the needle hanging down here that's because yeah um i have now gone down here you can see the needle here so I'm now working in this area um, I still need to complete a bit up here and this area and some here but then almost this cup is done uh, I think next week I'm going to be finished with the cup and then I only have these two cups and the saucer left on it and then I'm finished and then I'm going to show 
how this washes out and so on uh, and how you do that uh, but I think seen from a distance it's going to look quite good um, so yeah it's a really fun piece to work at and uh, I really enjoy having uh, this one to work on, uh, on in the car and so on because you don't have to count as I've said so many times before that it's so nice not to be uh, not having to count um, when you are in the car and so on. I know there's probably some who would say oh this is cheating but anyway it's stitching and it's in the car and I'm not that good at a stitcher yet that I'm so confident that I can um, count and, and have a uh, um, chart and so on um, in the car with me. So I enjoy this one. So yeah, I think it's going to be brilliant when it's done. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put that back. Then I have been working a bit on my beaded cross stitch. There's not much progress here. Um, just a small amount. Just going to leave it. And I've got a bead down here. So <clears throat> I have done two extra rows. I think it's around 250 extra pearls in it. Uh, so there's a bit of progress on it, not much, but uh, it's going to be finished when it's finished. I really, I'm really looking forward to get all of this done because these are s simply boring colors because they're so alike. I, I'm looking forward to get down in here where we've got all of the confetti. There's still some some places where you've got some some places where where the colors are very alike, but down here and with the light over here and so it's going to look beautiful. I'm going to link it below again so you can find it on Aliexpress. I highly re recommend this as a beaded cross stitch. I think I am going to order another one uh, before uh, January 30, 30, 31, no, let's just say January the 1st 2020 because then there's these new rules with uh, international shipping fees which are going to be higher from uh, from China uh, will apply so I, I really want to to order before this goes into action and we are going to have higher shipping costs from them um, so uh, there's another one with the tree and I think it's the car flying towards it or it's stuck in the tree I can't really remember it's somewhere but I think that's the companion for this one and I think I'm going to buy that one I think it's $43, but I'm hoping that there's going to be some sort of share sale here in November um, so I can buy it there and they can ship it before the new fees come to life. So yeah. Um, what? Yeah. I Then I have my cell. I'm just going to take another sip. Then I have my cell um, from the Owl Forest in Russia and I am, as I said, I am loving this uh, cell. Um, I have a page finish. I was just looking to see if I could find my... Again, we are having issues here, um, but as you... You can see it here. I'm just going to stand up so I'm sure that you can see it. Here is the one I am working on. I'm just going to turn it down so you can see all of it. It's here. So I'm working over here and I've done this bit and I'm working on her, the good fairy and or witch. Um, and it's so nice to work on. It's really, really coordinated. As you can see here, uh, this is a complete kit. They still need to do this bit. And that will be released November the 2nd, I think it is. And here you have all the charts and it's broken into bits. So it's a bit more easy to do. And you can choose to do 
petite stitches as it's shown on here, or you can choose to do normal cross stitches. That's totally up to you. So I am at the moment working here, over here. So yeah, go in yourself and see it and see if that's something that you could stitch. Um, I think they are saying on a 28 count and so I'm suggesting some sort of different uh, fabrics, but you can look at yourself. So yeah, beautiful to stitch on. Um, and now you want to see how mine is looking, don't you? Oh, so here we are. Oh, I, <laughs> I think she is, it's probably, yeah, you can see it. So I have done Dorothy, I've done the dog, I've done the house, the tornado, the witch's shoes, and now I am w working over here. I am having so much fun with this stitch. It's so, so, so nice to work on. Also because it's so divided into smaller pieces. So it's really nice to be stitching an hour and then you've done that one. So it's, yeah, there's some progress on it. It's just not a block of colors like in diamond painting and so on. You do all of these small bits and uh, complete the dog and then you feel like, oh I've done this part of it so I am so much enjoying this uh, highly recommended um, I think as a new bee stitch here it's for me really really fun to do it's not too difficult there's not any wild stitches in it I try to do the petite stitches I've told you that before didn't succeed too much so uh, <laughs> so they're done with ordinary stitches and I can't see the difference so um so yeah uh if you're interested i'm going to link that one below as well so you can see it um so yeah then uh finally i have a new beginning yeah of course i have um as i told you last time i um i I stumbled upon a girl who was closing down her uh, heaven and earth designs and selling all of the EMC colors. So I I paid for I think there's 88 colors in here and um, and uh, kitted up a cross stitch from heaven and earth design and this is my first full coverage piece from heaven earth design i am still contemplating whether i should change out the fabric because i can show that later but this is the little girl with the match um, a jasmine beckett griffith uh, chart and it's a mini chart so it's not too huge there's 88 colors in it and the width is 260 and height 323. So it's going to be 10, 10, around 11, uh, way wide and 13 uh, inches tall, or that's round, I think it's 28 to 29 centimeters or something. So uh, it's going to be, yeah, a bit more. It's going to be. Um, yeah, around around 20 on the width, 20 centimeters on the width and around 29 centimeters on the height around that. So yeah, um, let's look at what I've been stitching. I started this with stitching it um, full cross, no, that's not correct. One, two over one, and then I, st I stitched it one over one. And as you can see, it's only a small st start, but this one, I don't know if you can see this. No, you really can't. But this square up here is full, double, uh, two threads over one and the other one aside them beside them are um one over one and they're only 
uh, half crosses so that they are not full crosses. I am not really sure if I like the fabric or I think it's too small. Um, it's not going to be much bigger than this. Uh, so I really like some, uh, I like the size of it, but I'm really thinking that this is going to be really difficult for me to see. And if I want to continue on this one, as you can see, it's not much more. A, each square with a hundred stitches in it, it's, mu it's not much more bigger than a, than a nail <laughs> on, a, on a finger. So um, it's not a huge, uh, it's not easy to see all of the stitches. So um, I am like, oh, I don't know. Going to think about it and perhaps going to restart it on a big account. Uh, so I will enjoy it and not really sitting and uh, and not being able to see it. So yeah, but that's my first heaven and earth design. And then I bought another one which we now are going to look at. I am just wondering whether or not I should just turn you around so and unbag it on the table for you to, so it's easier to see. I think I'm going to do that. And um, so. I'm so happy just to round things up before I go away. I'm so happy to see all of the new subscribers. We're almost to a thousand, so I can start contemplating to what I want to give away when we hit the thousand subscribers. It's going to be for me a major milestone because I am so looking forward to doing perhaps some lives again and so on. Um, so yeah. Um, Looking forward to that. I don't think that this channel is going to be monetized anytime soon. That's not why I'm haunting the, uh, the thousand subscribers. It's just to really be able to, to do some, uh, some lives again. Um, so yeah, let's see. Uh, but again, thanks to all who have subscribed to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And for all of you who are frequent visitors, who comments and so on, I love your comments. Sometimes there's a bit of a gap between when you comment and I reply. I try to reply to everybody of you, but sometimes it just doesn't work or something. And then, um, yeah, I will reply to you when I get the time. So, yeah. Uh, but thanks for watching. Let's go into the other thing because I can also see that it's getting more and more dark outside. So let's hurry and uh, finish up. So yeah, see you. So after editing me just discovered that I totally forgot in the video to show you the progress of the painting. Um, but here it is. Um, I'm still not totally over the edge yet so but I can't move it much more so um, I need to get the other uh, foam roller so I can get it up and down on that one and then um, extend the diamond painting painting up on the table but I think I'm going to do a video showing you what and how I do that so you can use it as well so this is the progress from now uh, I am going to show you next one next week. So, so now on to the unbagging of the new cross stitch that I got. I think I got so excited about that one that I totally forgot this one. So now I'm back. Um, as you can see, this is from uh, the Gecko Rouge company. They do full coverage, um, full coverage uh, pieces and uh, they are based in England and uh, they have license agreement with various artists so I went in there and chose one that I would really love to stitch so let's get into it and see how this looks when it comes out and it's packaged and so on so it is really really nicely packaged this one so this is packaged into a 
a paper bag and it says over here handmade with love so yeah let's open that one and get into it so i love that this is handmade so this is the one that i chose it reminds me about of a danish yeah autumn day you have the fox running you have various birds and the house and the sea and so on this is a still a um a um chart by joe Gr grandi or a yeah painting by joe grandi made into to uh, a cross stitch so it's autumn breeze it's a and mine is a 25 count uh, even weave and it's one over one and um there's uh, DMC Colors 80 in it. So let's go into it and see how this is looks. Have you seen this? Doesn't that look gorgeous? Oh, the colors in it. I think it's going to look more gorgeous that than in, in real life than on the painting. So here we have all of the hand-picked colors so they're here and they are beautiful and here we have the fabric which is there's something thing that I really don't like with this uh, this one is that there's 20 in each of these uh, squares so there's 20 stitches in each of them you just have to be aware when you start the kits up and so on that these are 20, 20 ones. Um, I was contemplating whether or not I should buy only the threads from them or just buy the um, buy the chart and then uh, st kit it up myself. But I thought let's try it out and then I can always buy another fabric if I don't really like this one and then I was thinking that I could perhaps do the uh, the other one on it the Jennifer or the heaven and earth one just to compare between the 28 and 32 count I don't know if you can see this but there's a huge difference in them um, this is a 10 by 10 so they are really really there's three of those in a in a square so yeah there's um five more uh five lift list uh, threads per per square here than in a 10 uh, in a 30, 32 count so i think this one is going to be much more easier to work on so yeah um then i ordered it with the pdf I really like to use uh, the normal black and white chart. I don't really have tried it with my uh, iPad yet and I am not I don't I think that I am not a cost crunchy stitcher. So um so I haven't really done anything with it. Perhaps I'm going to move over at some point and use some sort of app for it instead of but at the moment I enjoy working from paper. So I'm not going to show you this one, but this is the um, the chart, and I think how many pages is it? It doesn't say. There's lots of pages. So, <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to working on it and trying to do that. So yeah. Um, they have, as you can see here, they have the website, they have an Etsy shop and so on. So there's a lot of places you can go. You can go on a Facebook where they also have, they have an Instagram account and a Pinterest account. So, so yeah, really, really happy about that one. Uh, looking forward to start that one. I think that I'm going to save this. Uh, for next year to start um, but I'm definitely going to start it 
soon because I love the colors on it and I think it's going to be wonderful, beautiful to work at and work on. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for watching. Was a bit, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, I hope to see you back soon. I hope, and I keep on saying it, that I really want to do some unboxings and so on of all the things that I've already ordered and which is here and so on. Um, so I hope to get time for that. But uh, again, thanks for watching. See you soon and uh, bye for now and happy style of stitching or diamond painting or crafting or whatever you're doing. Bye for now.